What would happen if Rock D. Zebik was still alive in the present day of the One Piece world? How would his existence impact the storyline? Would the presence of Rock D. Zebik reignite a power struggle among the world's forces? Or perhaps his knowledge of the Void Century and ancient secrets could shift the course of the Straw Hat's quest? Alternatively, could his presence impact the prophesized final war? Hold tight, because you'll get all the answers in this video. I'll present three fascinating theories discussing the alternative storyline of the One Piece universe in which Rock D. Zebik is still alive. Zebik's reputation precedes him, as the only person to ever make the entire world of the time join forces against his crew's overwhelming power. If he was still alive until the present day, it would undoubtedly have shaken the very foundations of the current world order. So let's dive into the hypothetical realm where Rock D. Zebik walks among the living, challenging the established powers and potentially altering the courses of events we've come to expect from Eiichiro Oda's masterpiece. In the first theory, the presence of Rock D. Zebik would lead to a severe power struggle among the major power holders of the One Piece world. If Rock D. Zebik were alive in the One Piece universe, his presence would significantly ignite a major power struggle that would redefine the balance of power across the seas. Zebik, known for his formidable leadership of the Rock's pirates, and as the most notable rival of Gold D. Roger, the Pirate King, harbored ambitions that extended to overthrowing the world government and establishing himself as the supreme ruler of the seas. Zebik's presence would lead to a massive power struggle amongst the world's most influential forces. The Yonko, four of the most powerful pirates ruling over the New World, would face an unprecedented challenge to their dominion. Zebik's reputation and power are such that his mere presence would disrupt the delicate equilibrium maintained among these mighty pirates, prompting them to either confront him directly or reassess their positions and alliances. The Navy, guardians of the world government's order, would find themselves in a particularly precarious position. Zebik's known opposition to the world government and his potential knowledge of the Void Century, the Will of D, and ancient weapons make him not just a pirate to be apprehended, but a direct threat to the very foundation of their world structure. The possibility of the Navy forming uneasy alliances with pirates, a scenario previously unthinkable, becomes plausible as they seek to counterbalance Zebik's threat. The significance of Zevik's presence cannot be understated. He embodies a living challenge to the status quo, possessing both the ambition and the capability to reshape the world map. His actions would likely catalyze shifts in power, prompt unexpected alliances, and spark conflicts that could engulf all corners of the sea. While this was the most probable scenario that could occur if Zebik was still alive, but that was only one of the three theories. The second theory talks about how Zebik's knowledge of the Void Century, the Will of D, and the ancient weapons could impact the storyline. In the One Piece universe, the Void Century, the Will of D, and the ancient weapons stand as some of the most profound mysteries, woven deeply into the lore and the overarching narrative. According to this theory, if Zebik were still alive, his intimate knowledge of these enigmas could pivot the entire series into unforeseen directions, particularly influencing the Straw Hat's pursuit of the One Piece. Rock D. Zebik could have possessed knowledge that would have put the government's authority at risk. His possible understanding of the Void Century, a 100-year period erased from history. The true nature of the Will of D, a recurring initial found in the names of individuals who stand against the world's tyranny, and the ancient weapons, capable of immense destruction and world-altering power, positions him as a singularly dangerous entity to the prevailing powers. The revelation of such secrets would not only undermine the legitimacy of the world government, but could also provide the Straw Hat Pirates with crucial information on their quest. Eiichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece, has intricately linked these mysteries to the ultimate treasure, the One Piece, suggesting that the resolution of these secrets is key to understanding the world's true history and future. Zebik's choice to divulge these secrets could stem from a desire to challenge the status quo, or as part of a grander scheme to establish a new world order under his rule. This act would irrevocably intertwine his fate with that of the Straw Hats, providing them with invaluable insights and possibly reshaping their journey. For instance, knowledge about ancient weapons could change the strategic landscape of the New World, drawing the Straw Hats into a larger conflict with the world government. Moreover, Zebik's insights into the Void Century and the Will of D would enrich the Straw Hats' understanding of their place in the world. Characters like Monkey D. Luffy, who bear the D in their name, could find their destinies profoundly influenced by these revelations, pushing them toward a confrontation with the very foundations of the world's governance. In the One Piece manga, hints and pieces of information about these mysteries have been strategically placed, suggesting that their revelation is pivotal to the series' climax. For example, the Poneglyphs, ancient stones inscribed with the world's true history, including information on the Void Century and the ancient weapons, have been a consistent element in the Straw Hat's adventures, emphasizing the importance of these secrets. Zebik's potential to reveal the world's forbidden history could serve as a catalyst for significant developments, impacting the Straw Hat's understanding of their quest, and the moral and ethical dimensions of their fight against the world government. 
Well, that was a really interesting theory, but it's nothing compared to the final theory of this video. The final theory suggests that Zebek's survival could lead to a great final war, a war that will engulf the world that would center around Zebek's presence. His actions could be the catalyst that bring together all major forces in the One Piece universe for a climactic showdown, reshaping the world order. For the One Piece fans, the prophecy of a great war is not a new concept, a great war that will engulf the world, heralding a cataclysmic reshaping of the global order. This theory explores the possibility that Rock D's Zebek could emerge as the linchpin for this apocalyptic conflict, acting as the catalyst that unifies all major forces in the One Piece universe for a final monumental confrontation. Rock D. Zebek, known for his indomitable ambition to become the king of the world, once posed the greatest threat to the world government and the existing world order. His infamous Rock's Pirates brought together some of the most formidable figures in the series, showcasing his ability to unify under his banner those who would otherwise be rivals. Zebek's resurgence could naturally precipitate the Great War prophesized in the series, as his return would threaten every major power structure from the Yonko to the Revolutionary Army, the Navy, and the world government itself. The foundation for this theory is deeply rooted in the One Piece lore, where themes of inherited will, the cyclical nature of history, and the eventual confrontation between those who seek freedom and those who seek control are recurrent. Ichiro Oda has meticulously laid the groundwork for a final confrontation, with hints and teases scattered throughout the narrative. For instance, during the Marine Ford War, Whitebeard declared that the discovery of the One Piece would lead to a war that would envelop the entire world, suggesting the inevitability of a global conflict. Chapter 576 Zebek's philosophical and ideological opposition, combined with his unmatched ambition and formidable power, positions him as a figure capable of uniting disparate factions against the common enemy. His knowledge of the Void Century, the Will of D, and potentially the One Piece itself could provide the narrative impetus for such a unification, as these secrets hold the power to destabilize the world and challenge the legitimacy of the ruling powers. You see, Zebek's presence is marked by revelations that challenge the foundational myths of the One Piece world. His actions could force the Yonko, who typically operate within their own self-interests, to reassess their positions in a world where the balance of power is suddenly thrown into disarray. Similarly, the revolutionary army, led by Monkey D. Dragon, which seeks to overthrow the world government, could find in Zebek an ally or a foe, depending on his intentions and actions. The Navy, guardians of the world government's order, would face an existential crisis as Zebek's challenge could necessitate a response on a scale never before seen. Admiral Fujitora's expressed desire for a system where the Navy does not serve the corrupt Celestial Dragons, Chapter 793, hints at the internal divisions within the Navy that Zebek's return could exacerbate. Furthermore, the Straw Hat Pirates, central to the narrative of One Piece, would inevitably be drawn into this maelstrom. Their journey towards discovering the One Piece, intertwined with their encounters with legacies of the past, including Zebex, positions them as pivotal players in the unfolding drama. Their ideals of freedom and adventure would clash with Zebek's more tyrannical ambitions, setting the stage for a conflict of epic proportions. To conclude this theory, Rock D. Zebek's presence could serve as the catalyst for the prophesized final war in One Piece, unifying all major forces for a showdown that promises to reshape the world. This theory, grounded in the series' established themes and narrative arcs, suggests a compelling direction for the story, where the culmination of decades-long mysteries and conflicts leads to a climax that is both inevitable and monumental. Through this lens, Zebek's role transcends that of a mere antagonist, becoming a symbol of the world's unresolved tensions and the catalyst for their explosive resolution. So that's it for today from my side. Now it's your turn to share your ideas on this subject. What do you think would happen if Rock D. Zebek was still alive today? Do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in another cool anime video.